Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to Ontario History Vlogs. It's a lovely day over here in Southern California. However, I'm under the weather. I've been sick for about a week now, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to go out there and share something historical with you all. I'm going to the Graeber Olive House, located on 4th and Columbia, Ontario's oldest existing business. They've been in business for 125 years. So we're going to go over there and check out the place. Um, check out the museum and the vat room and talk a little bit about the history and excuse my congestion. Without further ado, let this vlog begin. Graper Olive House, the oldest existing business in Ontario. Since 1894, and here's something just as impressive. Today, it's the oldest operating olive packer in not only just the Inland Empire, or Los Angeles County, or even in California, but here in the United States. The Graber story begins in 1892 when two brothers, Clifford C. Graber and his brother Charles, arrived in Ontario from Clay City, Indiana. After purchasing 10 acres here on the corner of Fort and Columbia, Clifford Graber decided to grow citrus trees. California's citrus business at the time was a demanding market, a type of market that you'd want to be in. However, it was something else that caught Mr. Graber's attention. Yep, you guessed it, them olives. Thus began Ontario's oldest existing business. Clifford Graber was delighted in the taste of the locally grown olives. So on his newly acquired property at the age of 19, he decided to cure his own olives, which then became a local favorite and grew so popular. So he launched a small business and sold fresh olives from the vats used to store the olives after they'd been picked. And the Graber Olive House was born. Mr. Graber knew he was onto something. While the citrus business was booming, he decided to stick with his olives and a genius decision, one that would pay off. In 1905, Clifford married Georgia Bell No, who helped sell olives here at the Olive House, and it was about five years later when he created his own rope-propelled contraption for grading the olives by size. He also began canning them, and as time went on and business continued to grow, he enlarged his cannery in 1934 to pretty much as we see it today. Mr. Graber continued to work for another nine years, but in 1943, right in the middle of World War II, Mr. Graber's sons, Robert and William, took over the Olive House. Now, although Mr. Graber was retired, he spent a lot of his time here at the Olive House until his death in 1955. So in 1963, Robert or Bob Graber had become sole proprietor of the business and pictured here is Bill Graber, who was an American pole vaulter. And in 1932 and 1936, he was actually in the Olympic Games coming in fourth and fifth place. Sadly, Bob passed away in 2008 and Betty in 2014. And now I believe their son Cliff owns the establishment. Now, Graber Olive House was honored in 1967 by the native sons of the Golden West for being Southern California's oldest existing business. So if you want to get a sense of what life was like in the 1920s or 30s, come on down to the Graber Olive House, proudly Ontario's oldest existing business, where the tradition continues today. Now, let's take a look around. Alrighty, let's go look inside this museum. Really, really cool stuff in here. Old artifacts, pictures. Look at all these pictures of old Ontario. Sweet. This lantern's pretty cool. It was used by William Springer for over 50 years before the days of flashlights. Ooh. I had something like this back in 1985. No joke, for it was the house I lived in at the time was built in 1923, so these were around. Check out these long lost artifacts that are no longer needed nowadays. Different time back then. Oh yes, I've seen many of these on the Flintstones. Graber Olive House, olive grading machine, early 1900s. Look at that. I found my favorite artifact in here, this old cast register. <laughs> Look at that, that is so cool. People would be so confused nowadays trying to operate this darn thing. But you got to appreciate it and you got to love it. Okay, let's go check out the bat room. That would be right in here next to the office. Look at this. We'll go in there in just one second. 
But before we do, we must enter the grading room. Okay, so that's where I'm headed right now. Actually, as soon as you enter the grading room, you could walk around this conveyor, which is still being used today. Look at that. Original boxes that are still being used as well. It's kind of spooky in here. I'm hearing a lot of noises. Look at this. A Toledo scale. Very expensive scales. So this is the grading room. One thing that is too cool is the original wood. Check it out. And here's the vat room, however, we cannot go inside, but I can give you an idea of what it looks like. If my camera focuses, there you go. There's 550 of these barrels here. And could you imagine being here at night? I'm sure it gets pretty dark. Right now it's the off season here at Graber's, but during season, this place is filled with people working. And when they are here working, you're able to come on down and watch the process of making olives. What the heck is a Panama Paddle Packer? Whatever it is, it looks pretty damn gnarly. What's on this side of the wall? Oh, a continuation of the machine. Am I allowed to be in here? Okay, where am I going? Let's go in here. Oh yeah, this room, the, the boiler room. Here we go. Look at this. I wouldn't want to sleep in there. Look how crazy this is. Man, very intricate. I would hate to be the guy responsible for taking care of this. Just saw something really awesome. Look at that. Original 100 year old wooden door. Look how it opens too. Pretty neat. Awesome. I don't know how this stuff works, but it looks really cool. Wouldn't that be something if that fail? Bam! Okay, what else is there to see? Let's go outside and see the outside world for a second. Closing up? Yep, close it up. All righty. I could stay here all day. Everybody, that's going to conclude this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jerry James with Ontario History Vlogs, reminding you to live, learn, and to explore. Until the next time, see ya.